Welcome to the tutorial on slide presentation using FreePlane. In this tutorial, we will learn to create spotlight setting, create slides, add a title and contents to slide, rearrange slide position and export the slides to PNG image files. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 16.04 OS, FreePlane 1.7.10 and Firefox web browser 77. To practice this tutorial, learner must be familiar with the FreePlane interface. For prerequisite tutorials, please visit this site. The files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. I have saved the input file on the desktop. Open the astronomy.mm file in FreePlane. Select the parent node. Click on View and View Settings. Click on the checkbox for Spotlight in the submenu. Observe that the background changes to grey color. The selected node is highlighted in a rectangular spotlight. Spotlight helps to draw the attention of the audience to the selected node. However, other parts of the map are also visible with less bright surroundings. Let's adjust the presentation properties. Click on Tools and select Preferences. The Preferences dialog box opens. Click on the Presentation tab. Notice the many options for presentation. Let's change the slide background color. Click on the gray rectangle next to Spotlight background color. In the Swatches tab, I will pick a sky blue shade for the slide background. Click on the RGB tab. Notice the alpha value is at 255. Alpha option changes the transparency level of the background. Click on the OK button in the box. Then click on the OK button again in the Preference dialog box. A warning pop-up message appears prompting to restart free play. You may or may not get this message depending on your system. Click on OK to close the pop-up window. The changed color setting takes effect for me without restarting FreePlane. Notice that only the highlighted node is visible. Rest of the canvas is covered in blue. Again, open the Preferences dialog box. Open the Spotlight Background Color dialog box again. Go to the RGB tab. Let's reduce the alpha value and see the result. Drag the slider for alpha to about 111. You may also use the triangle button on the right side. Click on the OK button in the box. Click on the OK button again in the Preferences dialog box. Click on OK to close the pop-up window. When value of alpha is lowered, other nodes are also visible with less bright surroundings. Let us set up slides and choose visible nodes for each slide. Click on the tool panel. In the tool panel, select the Presentations tab. In Presentations section, notice this sign as seen here. This means I have no presentations set up now. Hover over the icons to show tooltips on icon function. 
the function of each icon can be viewed as a tooltip. There is no visible name written on the icons. Learner must practice and familiarize with icon functions. Click on the new presentation icon to add a new presentation. I will name it weather and press enter. The sign changes to one by one. Currently, this presentation has no slides. In the slides section, click on the first icon to add a new slide. Type title for name of the slide as seen here. I will select the root node under slide content. Click on the second icon from left to add slide content. The tooltip for the icon is add currently selected nodes to the slide. Notice that I have selected the root node in the canvas. Now contents of the selected nodes get added as the slide contents. A green box appears around the nodes added as contents in the slide. We can also set the zoom level using the zoom button. I will not change it now. Now let's add a second slide as before. I will name this slide as topics. Select all child nodes of the root node for slide content in the canvas. Click on the second icon in the slide section to add content as we did earlier. The selected nodes get added as contents of the slide. In the slides section, add a third slide and name it axis of rotation. Check the box for show only selected nodes to highlight more options. Here, check one more box to show ancestors as seen here. Then, the parent node is also seen in the presentation. Select the child nodes of Earth's axis of rotation. Add them as contents of the slide. I will make four slides in this presentation. Add one more slide and name it Eclipse. For contents, add the child node of Eclipse node. Pause the video as needed and create more slides as desired to practice. Give a title name for each slide so that topic is clear from the slide name. Let's rearrange the slide order or sequence. I want the Eclipse slide to be the third slide among the four. From the slides pull down, select the Eclipse slide. Tool tape on the third icon in the slides section moves the slide up. Choose the slide and click once on this up arrow. Now the position shows as 3 by 4. This means it is at the third slide among the four. Notice that slide down function is also available. Now let's play the presentation and test it. Let's use the menu options for this instead of the options in tool panel. Hide the tool panel. Click on navigate presentation. Notice the many options in the sub menu along with the shortcut keys. Click on run presentation from the beginning. Display goes to the slide presentation mode. To browse forward through the slide, use the F5 key. To browse backward, press Ctrl and F5 together. Browse through the presentation and go to the Eclipse slide. Up and down arrow keys, move the nodes in the canvas. Use left and right arrow keys to browse through the node in the slide. Let's play the video link in the Eclipse slide by clicking on the link. Web browser opens and plays the video as it is a link to an internet site. 
the video can be played if you have a working internet connection. Close the web browser after a few seconds. We are back on the free plane slideshow. Press the escape key to exit the slide presentation mode. Open the tool panel. Go to the presentations tab and scroll down. Click on preferences to open the dialog box. In the presentations tab, notice a directory named exported presentation. Freeplane will create this directory to store the exported images. You may change this default setting if desired. I will not make any changes here and click on cancel. Notice export current presentation to PNG images option. Click on it to create the images for the slides. Allow the process to complete. A file manager folder may open to view the exported files. Press controller to save the map. Choose file quit free plane to quit free plane. Go to desktop and notice the newly created folder. Select it and press enter to view the contents. Notice a directory with the map name. Press enter and go to the directory. Let's browse through the exported image files. I will close the exported images. Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we created spotlight, created slides, added contents to the slides, rearranged the slide ordering, played the slideshow, and exported the slides as images. For the assignment activity, please do the following. Create four more slides in the presentation. Use notes of your choice to add the contents. You may also use a concept map of your choice. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.